What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is As to Cheese Gaming. Welcome to a totally different video than what I usually do. If you're just here for gaming content or some of the various series that I do on this channel, well, thank you for clicking on this one. Hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time. This video is going to be totally different than, oh, and I just killed myself, anything that I usually do on this channel. And mostly I just wanted to try to have, you know, just can a conversation with you guys, really. Christmas is now in the rearview mirror. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling a little bit, you know, melancholy ever since then. And it's like, just, just feeling kind of just a little bleh. Let's see if we can recover here. There we go. And it's like, you know, we moved through Christmas. And as we hit Christmas, it's like we're just, you know, we're moving up to it, we're moving up to it, and we're flying at the speed of light. And then you come into January, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like by the time January rolls around, it's like I just, I, you know, you almost feel like you just hit a brick wall. Wow, Luigi doesn't want to get knocked off the map, does he? And it's like, you know, I don't know. Personally, I just don't care for January. It's cold, it's dark, it's gloomy. Not a ton to look forward to, you know. Mind you, I have little kids, so, you know, I really get, you know, into the spirit of the season and look forward to, uh, you know, Christmas and the season and, you know, taking my kids to events and stuff like that. And then it's like Christmas is in the rearview mirror and it's now, and it's just kind of like, well, now what the hell do I look forward to? And something that I only very recently learned is that, you know, of all the major, whoops, of all the major holidays, Christmas is the one that's, you know, people suffer with uh, the most for depression. I didn't realize that until very recently. It's like, you know, it could be the most uh, joyous time of year and it can also be one of the most depressive. And I mean, I get it. You know, maybe your know, family's gone or, you know, deaths in the family and stuff like that. It's like, you know, you know, maybe people just lost the will to live and, you know, lost loved ones during this, you know, this time of the season. And I think also a lot of it has to do with just the fact of um, December 21st being the winter solstice, which is also the shortest day of the year. Meaning that, you know, the sun, you know, rises the latest and sets the earliest. So for, you know, the actual amount of sunlight that we get, assuming that the sun's out that day, it's, you know, very, very minimal. So, you know, my personal... <laughs> I guess we get Pikachu three times. My personal theory is that, you know, it's, I think that has a very uh, big impact on it. Just the lack of sunlight, which is kind of why, you know, all the Christmas lights are, you know, up. Uh, I think, you know, a couple years ago, I believe, two or three years ago, there was like a real big push to, uh, you know, to have everybody leave their Christmas outs till, you know, or Christmas lights out, excuse me, till, um, Oh my God, what's the you know, big holiday in March? Forgive me, I'm blank. St. Patrick's Day. Sorry, I was blanking on it for a second there. You know, and then you could switch over. You could just turn off all the, you know, red in the Christmas lights and just leave the green on so then everyone could have, uh, you know, green Christmas lights going. You know, some people, and I'm dead. Some people still do that about leaving their, uh, you know, Christmas lights on, you know, till later just because the added light's kind of nice. And, you know, ooh, oh, I recovered and then I still fell down. Okay, yeah, we got to reset that. That's not even fair. I pick up the hammer, it's headless, and I get knocked off. Let's redo that. Anyway, I recently, you know, learned of something called, uh, a lot of people struggle with it, which is called seasonal affective disorder, you know, a.k.a. winter blues. It's, you know, this... January and this, you know, the, especially the holidays more specifically, but even as you move in from the holidays into January, it, it, it can play, be a very difficult time for people. It can be, you know, kind of hard, the lack of sunlight and just the cold, dreary, dark weather and everything else. So it's like, you know, I just wanted everyone to know that, you know, if this is something you're, you know, struggling with or that's been going on with you, you know, you're not alone. Trust me, there's, you know, plenty of people out there who have the same thing. I'm not saying I'm, you know, depressed by any means of the imagination. I assure you I'm not, but just slightly melancholy, just kind of like, eh, you know, kind of bummed out that Christmas is over. Look forward to it so much. Like I said before, I, I did not care for 
uh, January by any means of the imagination. I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's not to say there aren't things to look forward to in, um, you know, the winter time and the winter months. You know, sl sledding can be a lot of fun. Sometimes the, you know, cold and the snow can be kind of cool to see. Uh, you know, shoveling shoveling your drive walk, your dr drive walk, sidewalk or driveway can be, oh my God, I want to hit the bomb. Oof, of course he did. Shoveling your uh, sidewalk and driveway could be good exercise. Could be, you know, great way to get some good exercise during the winter months. One thing that I personally try to do during these winter months is I try to grab a uh, RPG from the uh, backlog of my collection and sit and, you know, play through that. Maybe you could try to get lost in an RPG that I've been meaning to, you know, fire up and add into my collection. Oh my god. That kind of helps, actually. Thanks, Pikachu. You know, like I was, I think I made that series of videos where I was talking about, you know, some various uh, games that you could pick up and play for in the summertime, figuring that, you know, a lot of people would be outside and doing events and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe I need to do one of those uh, styles of videos for the winter months of, you know, games that you could just spend, you know, hours upon hours on and get lost, you know, get lost in. There's you know, plenty of great RPGs to do that, of course. I mean, you know, just off the top of my head, Chrono Trigger is always a, you know, good one that you could always get lost in if you want one for the uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, trying to think off the top of my head of a good, you know, the Zelda games are always good games to get lost in for the, um, you know, for the Nintendo 64. Let me try to, th could always play, uh, you know, if you're looking for an RPG, there's always Gauntlet, Le ooh, Goomba. There's always Gauntlet Legends, you could, you know, fire the, oh my god, I'm about to get frozen here. Could always fire up some Gauntlet Legends, that's a good RPG that's well worth playing. The Harvest Moon series. There's, you know, always a whole bunch of those. A lot of times during the winter months, I like to play a game called Viva Pinata for the Xbox 360. That's one that I enjoy a lot. Uh, Kingdom of Emilur Re-Reckoning, if you prefer the 360. You know, for Game Boy, of course this game, or not Game Boy, Game Boy, GameCube, excuse me. Sorry, kind of hard to play the game in chat and try to remember my train of thought that I have going here. Trying to just, you know, keep going and going. But like I said, you know, this is always a good game to sit and get lost into. Just, you know, fire up a, you know, you can always fire up a 99 life and just plow through it and see how far you get. Goodbye, Samus, as we win. One thing that personally, if I'm feeling kind of down or feeling some winter blues that I personally try to do, and I would highly recommend this. Man, I didn't get any kills that game. Ugh. You know. Pick up the phone, make a phone call, try to talk to people, try to, you know, just check in on people, see how everyone's doing. Just talk to people, have some conversations. You know, it's going to be a you know, good time as people are more sheltered in your place. Forgive me to even say that, but, you know, you know what I mean. Just spending more time indoors and just, you know, stuff like that. A lot of times when I'm spending time with the family, you know, uh, usually we have some board games that we might have picked up for Christmas. So, you know, sometimes my kids like when I play a game called Catopoly with them. Oh, my God. Really? I like the map, but Jesus Christ. Really? How did I immediately get KO'd? No one else did. Let's try that map again. Catopoly, which is pretty much, you know, Monopoly. So... Can never go wrong with, you know, in the cold winter months when the snow is outside or the weather's just kind of black, you know, firing up some board games together. Maybe play a game, you know, round of Monopoly or round of Risk. Uh, you know, can definitely waste away an entire afternoon sitting there playing some Risk or Monopoly with each other. Like I said before, the Monopoly is something that the kids like to do. Actually, during the slate winter break, I was playing some Uno with the kids. So, you know, heck, if you got a deck of cards, you know, fire up, play a couple rounds of cards with family. That's always something you could do. And, you know, quick disclaimer, I probably should have said this at the beginning. I'm not a therapist or a counselor or anything to that effect. Just, you know, person, you know, out here with a mic in YouTube land. So, you know, please take everything I say, you know, you know, at your own discretion and, you know, with a grain of salt. 
not trying to tell anyone what you know how they should live or what they should should do or shouldn't do. Again, I'm not a counselor, not trying to give any you know legal or medical advice. Sadly that I even have to say that, but you know, of course probably need to say it just for the algorithm's sake. So sorry YouTube again, not trying to give any medical advice. But again, just know that, you know, during these cold winter months, you know, if you're f suffering from some kind of, you know, seasonal afflicted disorder or whatever the heck the new term for it is, know that you're not alone. A lot of people do suffer from it, aka winter blues. It's gonna even post winter can be a challenging time of year. Like I said before, maybe try to make a phone call. That's something I try to do. Keeping, you know, just keeping regular contact with people. Make sure everyone's doing okay. Just try to stay active. Get lost in an RPG. Try to, and speaking of, you know, speaking of active, try to stay active. Exactly that, you know. Try to make sure, I'm, you know, get plenty of sleep, get plenty of exercise, you know. Bundle up, take a walk, you know. Try to maybe do some extra, you know, physical weightlifting or something. That's something I try to be very, uh, you know, religious and faithful about, about making sure I, you know, get regular exercise, do my, you know, push-ups and rows and curls and everything else that I always like to do. Try to make sure I keep myself, you know, physically fit. Which, you know, during the winter can be a little more challenging because it's, you know, who wants to go out there, who wants to go out in the cold and, you know, take a long walk, you know, brr. But sometimes if the weather breaks, it's doable, so... Hope this video helps someone out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of a free-floating discussion. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.